Hello, Chris. Hey, you sister. Can I talk to you? Sure. Let's go in here. We missed our last two sessions. Why? Ever since our last time together, when you got me to open up, I've been afraid to come back. Afraid to expose any more of myself to you. I mean, you know, the reality is, sister, I hate myself. All the more reason why you should have come to me. You're probably right. Do you know what it's like to want somebody? long for them and I'm not talking about sex I'm just just to touch them yeah of course you do and you're a psychologist too and I'm to your woman first you know about desire everything alright man sister I'm fine I can help you, Chris. I know you can. Talk to Beecher. Counsel him. Convince him. Tell him that you love him. And that he loves you. Mm-hmm. And that's what this has all been about, hasn't it? The sessions, the questions about my personal life, getting me to care so I can help you reach Beecher. You can do it. He trusts you. You still don't see it, do you? That's the whole problem, Chris. He trusted you. You broke his trust. Now he can't trust you again. Yeah, but I've changed. Have you? You manipulated me the way you did him. And I don't trust you anymore. Wait a minute, sister. Wait a, wait a minute. Chris. Hell hath no fury, huh, sister? Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. I had lust in my heart. You haven't acted on this lust? No. But, uh... You may. No. Then? Well, it's, uh... It's, it's opened up all of these feelings in me. Feelings that I thought I had paved over years ago. And, uh... Now that I'm back in touch with these feelings, I... I well, it, it seems wrong to shut them off again. I owe it to my soul to be all of the things that I am, all of the parts of myself. I've decided to leave the convent. To stop being the nun.